Sawadi krap everyone, hello, it is me again, and that was Thai for hello, don't ask me to spell that, I have no idea how, but my mom's from Thailand, so, and I just wanted to greet you guys once again, for like, what is this, like the fifth time in several months, I rarely upload now, as you can see, though I really want to upload more from now on, I've been trying to fix some audio issues on my computer, and also, I have school again right now, and I wanted to go a little bit into detail about my schedule and my life and everything. Just a quick forewarning, if you don't care about vlogs or whatever stuff, update videos, don't watch this. If you just want gameplay, that will come soon. Now, I'm trying to shift the direction of my channel as I said earlier, but I haven't had much time to record or to edit due to my schedule. Cur though my schedule is currently a lot more open and I've been trying to find more time, so hopefully from now on I can upload some more. Since school started, I've been adjusting to everything, having lots of meetings with different people. And now that school has started, my schedule has actually opened up due to the weird system that's at my school right now for my senior year. That's right, it is my senior year at high school and I'm 17 years old right now. I'm almost a man. Anyway, at my high school right now, I am dual enrolling several classes, which if you don't know what that means, it means I'm basically taking some of my high school classes at a college campus in order to gain college experience and stuff like that. So it's like the same level as advanced placement classes, except instead of being taken in school, it's taken in a college. And instead of relying completely on a test at the end of the year, it relies on your grade throughout the class, which is, in my opinion, a much better system. But I won't go into a rant about the educational system. Let me go into a rant about my life instead and my current life, and my current schedule. So as I said, I'm dual enrolling, and I'm dual enrolling the first two classes of my high school. We have a block system where we have four classes. So my first two classes are basically half the school day, from eight o'clock until, what was it, like 11.30 around that time? I think that's about half the school day. And the classes actually haven't started yet. They don't start until next week. So basically the first half of school right now since they can't schedule anything else during that time, since I'm dual enrolling and dual enrollment classes haven't started yet, I'm allowed to stay home for the first half of the school day and then come to school for the second half. And furthermore, two classes I have at the end of the school day are extremely easy and I will most definitely do well in them without even really needing to try that well, which I'm pretty happy about since my junior year was incredibly difficult. So now senior year will probably be incredibly easy. And that will give me some time in order to think about where I'm going to go in life, what I'm going to upload, the direction of the channel, direction of my life and family, you know, and plan out everything. I don't plan to make YouTube my life, by the way. This, I mainly do YouTube, like, no offense to anyone, but I mainly do YouTube in order to make some memories for me to talk about in the future. I can look back on my childhood and stuff like that. I feel like it's kind of like a fun, productive pastime for people to do. It's a lot more productive than playing just playing games by themselves, in my opinion. This creates more lasting memories. But anyway, yeah, that's basically it for my schedule. So, as of right now, next week though, my dual enrollment classes start, and I will have to be at school the entire day, but only on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So the other days, I have time in the morning hopefully, to edit videos. I don't think I'll be recording anything unless it's a vlog like this one or an update video, but I won't be recording gameplay really on mornings. It'll mostly be, mostly be in the afternoons that I do that, but I might edit videos in the morning. And that should give me more time to get out more content. Furthermore, I am hoping that, well, not hoping, I am completely certain that I'm not going to do full, like, hour-long video let's plays unless it's something really interesting or new like if I recorded videos when Undertale came out I might have done that or maybe uh, Inside or stuff like that, but it's already too late for those games and I don't have the money to buy that many games So yeah, but I won't do like hour-long episodes or really long let's plays anymore because one barely anyone ever watches it or enjoys watching it two I get tired of editing and uploading hour-long Let's Plays, as you could tell by my Terraria uploads. After a little while of doing it, I'm like, I'm tired of this, why do I have to keep doing this? Ah. And I basically don't want to work on it anymore, and it completely kills my YouTube inspiration. 
like in order to make YouTube, the biggest hurdle is not like the sus subscriber count or your whether or not you have games to play. In my opinion, or your equipment for that matter, the biggest hurdle is inspiration for me. Because if you don't have, I think for everyone actually, because if you don't have inspiration, then you're not going to have the will to make videos. And the first step to being successful or doing well or having fun on YouTube is to make videos. No matter how good or bad your equipment is, even if you think your video is crappy, if you're inspired to make it, then it doesn't matter to you. And people will enjoy it even more because that means they can tell that you're truly caring about your content and you're really enjoying what you're doing. And it's just completely authentic. And that's really nice. However, I lost that inspiration, I've been busy with lots of things, I haven't had money to buy many games, which is why I don't upload many recent games, because I have no money for them. And I don't have a job yet, though I, in the future I plan to play a lot more, since I'll have money of my own. But that's basically why I haven't been uploading any of the new games, or haven't been recording at all lately, because I have no inspiration. Though for some reason I've been feeling more of an urge to make videos now, because I've been watching more YouTube myself, like I've been following some new channels and enjoying some more games and some more news and everything and it's really exciting for me because now when I see some all these creators creating some new interesting content, it makes me want to upload again. And this is a similar feeling that I had whenever I first discovered YouTube many years ago through Minecraft and whenever I saw so many Minecraft YouTubers uploading unique content, fun, engaging, and they're being very comedic and humorous, and it was very exciting to me. And that's what inspired me to start my YouTube channel, if you couldn't tell by my original videos, all being Minecraft, and some of my most viewed videos all involving Minecraft, even some tutorials involving Minecraft. Though, today's time, many people will see Minecraft players as being childish or five years old or whatever. Call me that if you want. I still play it sometimes, not that often though, it kind of grew out of it. But I still see it as a fun game that really influenced the gaming community and changed the world. And I don't think that anyone who plays Minecraft is childish. In fact, I think Minecraft is a good game to bring out like creativity and allows you to get on with your friends and do whatever you want. And there's so many mods and things that you can put onto it in order to change the experience every time. I don't know. To me, it just seems like calling it childish is really stupid. Just stupid. Anyone who calls other people's hobbies childish is kind of moronic in my opinion, and probably hypocritical too, since other people have probably called them childish before and they're just trying to take revenge or something, because they're upset about it. I don't know. Anyway, that let me get off this tangent. That's why I haven't been uploading many videos lately, and that's why I will get back to uploading videos again. However, as I said, I won't be doing long Let's Plays. What I will try to do now is upload new games each time, but they're probably not going to be super expensive games. I may do like app showcases or free games online, flash games, or I may play some of the games I currently have on my Steam, such as Rocket League. That can be a fun thing to play with friends. Maybe some, if I play something like Don't Starve or something like that, I won't do a long let's play, but maybe a highlight reel of Don't Starve or something like that. Or maybe even Minecraft again, if people are still interested in that, though I don't know how many people watch that on YouTube anymore anyway. And anything that I find interesting, really, because that's the whole fun of YouTube, isn't it? You just find something interesting anytime you want to, and just make a video about it whenever you want. And that's why I have enjoyed YouTube so far, and that's why I plan to continue to enjoy it. So yeah, if you guys made it through this super long, super elongated video, then I honestly applaud you. Because I kind of went on tons of tangents around here and I'm kind of going on one again. But for the final tangent, I want to talk about you guys. Now I don't know, I don't think too many people are actually going to watch this video because I haven't uploaded in so long and I don't think I had any super dedicated followers. So. Maybe people will come back to these videos and be like, yeah, he was a pretty cool guy. It was a nice video he uploaded in the future when I have more subs. But as of right now, I don't think too many people watch me. But for those who do, for those of you who are listening to me right now, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Seriously. Like, I don't think I'd be able to stick with me for this long. 
In fact, I don't think I'd be able to stick with myself for half the time. I don't even know why I'm here right now. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Someone help me. But thank you. Thank you so much. And that's really all I have to say. I don't know if what I can give to you, but hopefully what I can is good enough. See you guys later. And I'll see you in the next video.